Happy May 28th and happy terrific Tuesday. Hello Sycamore and welcome to this episode of our Sycamore Junior High School Aviator Airways. Hello, I'm Delaney. And hi there, I'm Annabelle. Soar Sycamore with respect, responsibility, safety, and creative problem solving. Now it is time where we are all PBIS respectful and stand with our fellow aviators and place our hands over our hearts and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all and please be seated. Okay, let's do this Sycamore Junior High. Our district is having a food drive to stock the shelves at Operation Gift Back, also known as OGB. Bring any extra food around the house or pick up some extra items at the grocery store this week to deliver to the OGB bin right inside the main entrance door near the front office. Thanks everyone for helping others. Turn in your library books now. Check your email from Ms. Carter to see what, what books you may still have checked, checked out to avoid paying replacement costs. Lost and found. Check the lost and found if you are missing something. It's overflowing again with lost items, including items from 8th grade day at the rec center. All unclaimed items will be donated on June 1st. Okay, what do we have for clubs and activities announcements today? Not a whole lot going on today. Just some quick reminders to take care of. A student council message. You want to work as a team and be a positive voice of change? Do you like fun activities such as wacky games and field trips? Well then, the student council is a place for you. We meet on the first and third Thursday of the month after school. It is easy to make friends and make an impact. Please join us in the fun that student council. Do you know Ms. Lally or Ms. Diorio if you would like to join student council? Student Council. My bad. All those interested in wrestling next year. Again, remember that the opening mats are back on at Sycamore High School in the wrestling room every Sunday from 6 to 7.30. If you have questions, ask Coach Foley. Robotics. Final reminder that the applications for our next season are open and due by June 1st to save money. Registration will increase by $30 after June 1st. Apply to the Sycamore Robotics website or to the form link below. Now over to Mrs. Hubbard for the Mikey Drew winners. End of the year greetings, aviator family. A tiny babble stream eventually erodes its way through soul and rock to become a mighty, roaring river. In the same way, ever-present nibbling fears wear their way into highways of panic. When we live with this continual fear, it's easy to become disillusioned. It's easy to lose hope. But one amazing Sycamore Junior High teacher never faltered or lost faith. In 1982, Sycamore Junior High welcomed a young reading teacher, Mike Durup, into the aviator family. Her smile brightened her room. Her welcoming words captivated her students and her personality reflected the compassion she had for all who met her. She was quite the epitome of a perfect teacher. She immediately bonded with staff and students while she graced patience, compassion, and dedication to her students. Her time at Sycamore Junior High was short-lived. Mike was diagnosed with cancer. Through this tangled and confused disease, her life was left in unrelenting unrelenting chaos, but she managed to find the unexpected strength some people only inherit. Mike continued to touch the lives of both staff and students with courage and determination, set an example for many. She lost her battle with cancer in 1987. As her loving spirit continued to resonate throughout our school, every year a poetry contest is held to allow students an opportunity to capture Mrs. Drup's invigorating spirit and contribute to her sweet memory. This year's entries from 50 plus students were submitted in the spring and a committee of 10 educators worked together to select a winner. Judges include the following, Mrs. Adams, Mrs. Ramadka, 
Mrs. Hubbard, Miss Huff, Mrs. Reedy, Mrs. Spielman, Mrs. Stein, Mrs. Swenson, Mr. Wolf, and Mrs. Zhang. Special recognition goes to Vedanchi M for her entry entitled, Take the Moment and Embrace It. Chandra R and her entry entitled, Rainbows, the Symbol of Humankind. And Luke Burke and his entry entitled, The Change. Outstanding writing, students. Congrats. And now the moment we've all been waiting for is with the utmost honor and gratitude that I present to you this year's first place winner of the 2024 Mike Dura Poetry Contest. She is Myra Sahai. Myra's winning entry is entitled, Will You Rise? <laughs> Way to capture Mrs. Drew's spirit, Myra. You rock. Right. Thanks to all the students who entered the contest. Blessings to all, and have a safe and amazing summer. And go Aves! Thanks, Ms. Hubbard. Be informed. Check your emails every day. Be responsible young adults to make this a great place to be. Make sure to be responsible and check your English language arts summer reading requirements. Mark your calendars! Thursday, May 30th is our last day of school. We have three more school days remaining until summer break. And 8th grade moves out of junior high and goes to the high school. Keep your grades up and turn in your work to finish strong. News for the upcoming 24 through 25 school year events. Save these August dates. August 6th is schedule pickup. August 12th is open house starting at 6.30 p.m. Note this is new and will start before we start back to school this year. August 14th will be the 7th grade transition day. This will be the first day of school for seventh graders moving up from sixth grade and August 15th will be the first day for eighth graders at August 15th will be the first day for eighth graders to transition back to school. August 16th everyone will be returning back to school together. Next, Next up. Hi I'm Adrian and I'm from Sources of Strength. Of course, I love doing healthy activities and eating food. Hi, I'm Jameson. I'm part of the Source of Strength. Of course, I have a lot of hobbies. Hi, I'm Harper, and I'm part of the Source of Strength. Of course, I listen to my friend's problem on a daily basis. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm part of the Source of Strength. Of course, I care about my food. Next up, birthdays! Happy birthday to students celebrating today, including Owen B. and Jack C. Hope you all have a wonderful day celebrating with your friends and family. Next up, joke of the day! Random, Random hand. hand! Thank you. Why should bowling alleys always be quiet? Why? So you can hear a pin drop. <laughs> well, that's all we have for today. Enjoy your day, make good choices, learn from your mistakes, and go Aves! Go Aves! <laughs> that was good. <laughs>